What's up, guys? Welcome back to Whiskey Website Wednesdays. This is episode 26. My name is Mira. I'm the social media manager here at Outside the Box, and my favorite cheese is brie. This is gauche. <laughs> but that's my favorite, too. Double is double. it actually? Double churn? Yeah. Have you tried triple? Yeah. It's, it's creamy. creamy. It's yeah. creamy. Well, it says bread, right? <laughs> Yeah, now, that we have, now that we have your attention with our favorite type of cheese, we are drinking the Glenfiddich 15 year. Are you yeah. Excited? Have you yeah. tried this before? No, I just got this. Uh, Duran got it as a birthday present, so I'm really excited. So we're drinking Huron's birthday present, no. and we are very Gausch's birthday. Gausch's birthday present. Sorry. You got Happy it for belated me. birthday. No, we've done this way too many times. <laughs> Let's just, we just drink it. Though. Let's just drink it. Um, and today we're going to be talking about day trading attention and just capturing people's attention, how you can capture attention, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Before we do that, obviously we are going to try the whiskey. So I will pour while Gausch tells you about the tasting notes. So um, the immensely popular. Ah, oh, take it out, please don't break it. <laughs> So the immensely popular Glenfiddich variant using a Solera system common in the maturation of quality sherry. So it's a 15-year-old malt from three different types of casks. Um, and it's married together in a wooden vat, uh, which is constantly topped up to ensure that the quality is maintained. Now, it's basically the... Um, the casks are American bourbon, uh, Portuguese sherry, and virgin oak. So that's three different ones, and then they're married in the solar of that. Um, apparently, it's a really, really great tasting whiskey, so I'm going to enjoy it, especially since I've had a less than optimal day so far. We're all having a, a rough day, so we... As you can see, I, 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 gave, some extra. I gave no Actually, crap maybe about You can my have life. the better one, the, the one with a little bit more. Sure. I, yeah. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, but at least I decided I'll, I'll rock the Raptors, even though they, yeah, they, they hurt me on Monday. Hey, but man, round two. You mean, yeah, round two again. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, but yeah, so the tasting notes, I'll talk about that a little bit. The color, as you can see, it's a golden red hue. Uh, the nose is intriguingly complex aroma. It's sweet. Actually, what do you think you smell? I smell intriguingly complex. Oh, shit. <laughs> what else? I don't know. Uh, so, <laughs> sweet heather honey, uh, vanilla fudge combined with rich dark fruits. You can kind of tell with the color. Itself. How would I get heather honey? I get the you honey, but get... how do I get heather? We well, call her. Um, <laughs> <laughs> for taste, uh, silky smooth, uh, revealing, hey Heather, uh, revealing layers of sherry oak, marzipan, cinnamon, and ginger. Marzipan. Marzipan, it's you back. know mi- marzipan? Yeah, back. yeah. We wrap that Mars Panyo uh, and full body with bursting with flavor. Uh, finish is satisfyingly rich with a lingering sweetness. Let's see how the finish is. I've noticed uh, the last one we had, the Oban, had a really long tail. Uh, that was, wasn't the greatest finish, personally, I thought. But it was a really good whiskey overall, though. Um, all right, well, we'll try it out. Um, I've been well, smelling this for way too long. It, is, it actually is a really it's a nice honey. darker. It seems a bit, like, thicker. Cheers. Hmm, interesting. Happy Wednesday. Something like that. Oh, I didn't get it there. Hold on. Mmm. Actually, mm-hmm. this one feels, feels good. Mm-hmm. Ooh, this is good. <laughs> I was going to say Botswana, but it's delicious. Yeah, definitely Anyways. silky smooth. Um, you can taste the sherry. <clears throat> Ooh. I can't identify marzipan still, so. Yeah. Wow, my mouth watering. Uh, cinnamon, yeah. Ginger, I don't see it. It is but rich. But it's very full body. It's rich. It All is right. very full body. I'm going to try it with water in a bit. But yeah, yeah um, on to what we were going to talk about. Yeah, we were thinking we are going to talk about day trading attention. And if you uh, have ever watched Gary Vaynerchuk, I'm sure a lot of people know who he is. Um, but one of the things that he talks about is uh, day trading attention. And one of the reasons we want to talk about it is we want to ask you if you know how to capture your audience's attention. And if you don't, one of the things that we do here is help you capture your audience's att- attention. So... If you think about your social media strategy for a second, like, what do you do to get in front of the audience? Whether it's an Instagram post or a Facebook post Um, or whatever. I don't do anything she does it, so. 
I know. I, I manage it for everyone here, plus all of our clients and everything. But how do you get in front of your audience? How do you make sure that they are actually listening to you, watching you, et cetera? Right now, whoever is watching, the one person that is watching, <laughs> they we've captured your attention. So that's a good thing. Hey, Mom. Um, hi, Mom. Hi, hi Dad. He's like, hey, Mira, are you doing Whiskey Wednesday today? I was like, yes, yes Dad. I, I am, am drinking my whiskey. Um, he must be really <laughs> proud of you. <laughs> Every Wednesday you go and drink some whiskey, don't no. you? Yeah, we're real proud of you. He's really going to be happy to find me a husband. Yeah. You know what my daughter does? She drinks whiskey every Wednesday. Every Wednesday. You can watch the episode, man. <laughs> um, but go on. Uh, um, so, so one of the reasons we wanted to talk about it is mainly just to, to figure out if your marketing strategy is still in 2007, we've had a couple people come into our yeah um, into our world. Do you want one? Uh, no, I'm no? Just okay. I'm going to try with water. Um, to say that they're having such a problem with their clients or like keeping their clients or whatever. Mm -hmm. And one of the things we want to help you with is maintaining your client base, increasing your client base, and capturing your client's attention or your potential client's attention. Mm -hmm. And that has a lot to do with day trading attention to make sure that you're capturing it. So whether it is a video, videos are huge with Facebook and Instagram, which is why you're watching this right now, mm -hmm. or PPC, whether you're spending some money in your ads mm -hmm. or, or whatever to get on the top of Google to make sure people are actually noticing you, mm -hmm. whether it's Facebook ads to make sure that you're everywhere, Facebook, Instagram, whatever, people are scrolling and they're finding you, whether it's your website, how are people getting there? How are you capturing it in the first 10 seconds when people look at your website? What are you What are you trying to portray? Because that first 10 seconds is everything, mm -hmm. right? And it's not just that, like, I mean, like, you know, with the other things you mentioned, like Facebook, yeah, uh, AdWords, like PPC, like um, the brand awareness is huge when they see your name this often and they yeah. see your ads following them along whenever like they're on another website like Toronto <laughs> Star and they see outside the box they're like oh okay um, or they, even when they see you walking down the street and they're like the hey you. you're that girl that drinks whiskey huh with, and once it was a few times when I'm walking down the street with a box on my head and exactly I'm walking into walls for no reason they'll remember that exactly so just as long as you remember the tag. So we want to help you figure out how you capture your audience's attention, how you get in front of your audience, creating a strategy for you, whether it is PPC or social media or even your website, whether it's your logo, whether it's anything to do with graphic design, any anything with your online presence, we want to help capture your audience's attention because every audience is different and you need to be on different mediums, you need to have a different strategy because it's not going to be the same for everyone. Something that works for us, whether it's drinking whiskey, won't necessarily work for um, a door store. Is there a door store? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, a store door. that sells doors. Or, I don't know. I don't know. She's what? really terrible just, uh, examples on the spot. I don't uh, know. We should probably discuss this ahead of time. But I think it gives us more a genuine flavor that she is. Hey, man, I caught you off guard when I said my favorite cheese is brie. That's how I caught captured your attention. You captured, I captured You captured it. it. I captured. Oh my god. I captured your attention. Meanwhile, so I have, she has not captured my attention because this has a, I captured my attention. Yeah, these guys play with this all the time and it's very fidgety and But I mean it's called a fidget toy. <laughs> I know. It's literally But a it makes toy. me like on edge because I want one. But I'm so fidgety that like this actually calms my brain down. And like yeah. that's capturing my attention as well. So the takeaway from this entire episode, what we want to do is make you think about what your one value proposition is and B how do you capture people's attention like mm -hmm. what do you do that's different what do you do because if you're not standing out in 2017 no one's going to look at you and people come to us saying like you know their their market is competitive but you know what a lot of markets are competitive including mm -hmm. ours so if you do not stand out among the crowd you will be one of the crowd exactly and you don't want to be one of the crowd exactly you want to be special are so, you romanticizing so, that? I know. So you want to, you, no, no, I'm getting to my point. <laughs> okay. So you want to be outside the box. Was that the punchline? Yeah, but you like ruined it. Sorry. And I had like, I was going to do a voice and I was going to be like. Seductive? Uh, uh, seductive and stuff. And like you ruined everything. You know what? Uh. Did I just, oh, uh. sorry. I blocked you from that. Uh. Um, but anyway, so verdict of this whiskey? It's great whiskey. I'm going to try it with some water in a bit, but uh, I would definitely recommend this. We'll probably go back into a few recommendations in an upcoming episode um, and talk about which whiskeys we liked, which ones we didn't. Uh, if you have any whiskeys that you'd like us to review, give us a shout. 
Also, if you'd like to be featured on the show, give us a shout. Also, remember that Hip House Works Job Fair is coming up in June. Yes, absolute plug. Uh, but you'd want to come there uh, if you're looking for uh, you know, a new job, if you're looking for uh, new opportunities. Uh, there's going to be a wide range of employers there, uh, and you can meet them. You can meet them, and if you've been to our Hip House events, you'll know that it's a relaxed atmosphere, that you get to uh, get a lot of one-on-one time with a lot of people, and it's going to be the same way except with employers. <coughs> so uh, make sure you come out. It's June 13th. June 13th from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the Toronto Public Library. Um, you can register. We'll put the link in the caption or whatever, the description box, and you guys can register there. Um, if you would like to exhibit as well, we have a few spaces left for you guys to exhibit at, mm-hmm. or you guys can have a booth and exhibit. Yeah, if you're a business owner you, yeah. and you'd like, to, or like, you know, are part of like the recruitment uh department in a business or a major company then you know give us a shout if you want to have a booth there it's a great opportunity we have a lot of young professionals who come out to hip house mm-hmm. usually like i will i will definitely make sure make sure i boost our people and yeah, yeah the people that come to hip house are like your prime 25 to 35 year olds that are on the cutting edge of their field so you definitely want these people employed so if you're a business owner or your employer like definitely it makes sense to Come to our event, uh, have a booth, because you're going to get the cream of the crop. Yep. And then, just a reminder, we also have our three-year anniversary on May 17th at Maison Mercer. It is... It is a free event for young professionals, just like always. And we're celebrating our three years, so we have a few extra things uh, that we are going to be giving away, actually, that Gauche is just running through the office trying to bring. Um, it's going to be super exciting. So one of the things, a grand prize that you can win, is this smart TV. Yeah, Holy so we, we're, yeah, this is one of the prizes. We'll feature some of the other prizes that are be coming up. But yeah, we got some prizes this We're time. excited. We're just trying to like give away and give back to everybody give coming back. through. So hey, we got a TV. Exactly. We got a bunch more stuff, which we'll pre- show you on following episodes, but I just wanted to show you guys. It's that a 4K a TV. smart TV. Like, how could you not want it, right? So come to the Hip House. It is a free event. It's your chance to win that TV plus more. And you get the opportunity to meet Gaush and I. So obviously, why wouldn't you want to come? Whatever. Um, if you have any questions for us with your marketing strategy, be sure to email us at think at outsidethebox.com. My name is Mira, Mira at OutsideTheBox.com. That is Gauch, Gauch at OutsideTheBox.com. Again, we wanted you to think about your, how you day trade attention, how you capture people's attention. And, oh, do you want to try this with water? Is that it? Try it, try it, try it. Chug it. Mmm. Better? Yo, the smell comes out. Oh. Oops. Mmm. Mmm. All right. Yo, this is delicious. So That's we'll be we'll delicious. be drinking this all day. Uh, it's going to be a, a really rough day for us, but we're we're happy to have this whiskey. So we hope you hope you guys have a productive day, and hope to see you guys out at our future hip house events. And we will catch you next. Remember, week. if you're having a bad day, drink whiskey. No, 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 no. Just watch our episode. Don't drink whiskey. <laughs> That's a really bad path to go down. But you know, talk to us. Bye. Okay. Bye.